The following is a laboratory demonstration of the difference between water in gasoline and water in an ethanol blended gasoline. We will also demonstrate how phase separation takes place. Phase separation occurs when enough water contaminates an ethanol blended gasoline, causing the ethanol to attach itself to the water molecules, dropping to the bottom, leaving two distinct layers in the storage tank a gasoline only layer at the top and an ethanol water cocktail on the bottom. We'll start by taking a container of fuel we'll call neat gasoline or straight gasoline. We are using, for safety purposes, a substitute for gasoline. It is Soltrol 170 from Phillips 66, an aliphatic hydrocarbon. It has the same properties as gasoline, but it is not as volatile. We will add some water-soluble dye to the neat gasoline so you can see there isn't any water in it. The dye sits on the bottom. Now we'll add water to the neat gasoline. The water becomes colored by the water-soluble dye we added earlier. Next we'll shake it up or agitate the solution. You can see at first the now dyed water is in the solution but soon after agitation, the water will drop out of the solution and go to the bottom of the container. We end up with a distinct layer of gasoline and a distinct layer of water. This is the gasoline and this is water. Next, we'll make a container of E10. It consists of 90% gasoline and 10% alcohol. So we have 90 milliliters of gasoline and we have added 10 milliliters of alcohol in this container. We are using isopropyl alcohol because it is easier to come up with and straight ethanol is illegal. Alcohol and gasoline like each other. It won't even be necessary to agitate the solution. Watch closely and you will see at first it clouds up, but then settles into the solution. Now we have a container of E10. We'll make another container of E10. Next, we'll show that E10 will hold 0.5% water by volume at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The 0.5% water is just for E10, 10% alcohol blend and at 60 degrees. If you change the percentage of alcohol or the temperature, it will not hold 0.5%. So we'll add 0.5% water to the E10. You can see a slight variation in the color of the liquid, proving the E10 will hold the water in solution. We'll make another container of E10 to show our phase separation by pouring in enough dye-colored water to exceed the 0.5% water holding limit. Agitate it. The E10 will go into phase separation. The alcohol likes the water better than the gasoline. You can now see that the colored water slowly goes to the bottom. The alcohol molecule is bonding with the water molecule and breaking the bond with the gasoline molecule. Now in the container, you have a water alcohol solution at the bottom and the remaining gasoline, which no longer has the same octane rating, is on the top. That is phase separation. Notice the phase separation is lighter in color than the water layer of the neat gas. That is because this is not just water, but alcohol with water. If you notice, the level or volume is greater because it is the alcohol and the water. A common phase separation condition occurs when fueling stations receive alcohol blended gasoline for the first time. It starts with a partially filled tank of gasoline with a small, undetectable layer of water at the bottom. A fill-up of E10 is ordered. The E10 is dropped into the tank with the neat gas. The neat gas takes some of the alcohol from the new E10. The result is a tank of something on the order of a tank of E5, more or less, depending on the quantities involved. An E5 mixture has less tolerance for water than the E10, so there is more likelihood the entire batch can go into phase separation. A relatively small amount of water, a half inch in a 10,000 gallon tank, could equal 50 gallons and can take the alcohol out of the solution. Again, you have an alcohol water cocktail in the bottom of the tank and an off-spec, low-octane rating gasoline at the top. 
The ability of water to enter the fuel stream makes it vital to those handling fuels that contain ethanol at any level to be extremely vigilant in preventing water from getting into their fuel supply. If a marketer is buying fuel, he has to be aware of the potential phase separation properties of adding certain levels of ethanol or neat gasoline fuels to his supply. Switching back and forth to ethanol in a tank lowers the alcohol level and can make the total tank prone to phase separation. When dispensing fuels containing ethanol, a proper filter is the answer in the detection of phase separation. Special phase separation alert dispenser filters have been developed by PetroClear that will notify the operator of the condition by slowing fuel flow to less than one gallon per minute. This slow flow condition is a signal that phase separation is present and that the tank contents should be tested.